The Holy Gospel is written in the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ as recorded by St. John, chapter 2, beginning to read at verse 1. Praise to Christ our Lord. Two days later, there was a wedding in the town of Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. And Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine had given out, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no wine left. You must not tell me what to do, Jesus replied. My time has not yet come. Jesus' mother then told the servants, do whatever he tells you. The Jews have rules about ritual washings, and for this purpose, six stone water jars were there, each one large enough to hold about a hundred liters. Jesus said to the servants, fill these jars with water. They filled them to the brim. And then he told them, Now draw some water out and take it to the man in charge of the feast. They took him the water, which now had turned into wine, and he tested it. He did not know where this wine had come out from. But of course, the servants who had drawn out the water knew. So he called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone else serves the best of wine first. And after the guests have had plenty to drink, he served the ordinary wine. But you have kept the best wine until now. Jesus performed this first miracle in Cana in Galilee. There he revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Shall close our eyes this morning, wherever you are. Close your eyes. Can you raise your hand above your head? Let's give Jesus a Thank wave Jesus. offering this morning. Wave your hands to the King of Kings, to the Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest prayer, but holy lead on Jesus' name, on Christ the solid rock I stand, on the ground, Ili bratu sotoli bahasa tataya. On the ground is sinking sound. Just lift your hands above your heads. If your hope is truly built on nothing but on Christ, wave your hands to Him. Righteousness, I. Sweet as spring, but holy lead on Jesus' name, on Christ the solid rock I stand. All of the Thank you, Father. Wave your hands unto Him this morning. Wave your hands. Wave your hands. All of the ground. Is I need no other argument. I 
no other it is enough that Jesus died that he died for me I need no other argument I need no other argument that Jesus died and he died for me. 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 He Jimmy Mela, Onye na woma di anego Ya kanji bia ni rugi Sigi ni debube Da di debube Doxo Omere wanya didi Dibia Imere wanya kawe turime we mochulo ama mama si ama si esuku inya na tiro sele mogu ya gambeso na kampanyo ezama idi ebube dadi di ebube onye so onye ma. Who made a one yak away to remain? Where would you love? Mama, Masia, Masi, yes, you could lift your hands above your heads this morning, people of God. Huh? For some of us, this is our first Sunday in Lagos. For some of us, this is the first service you are attending in St. Paul's this year. I like you to still pray fresh prayers over the year. Today is the fourteenth day of the year, twenty eighteen. It is still very, very fresh. Lift your two hands to heaven and say after me: "Say, O oh Lord, my Father, Lord, my Father, in this year, twenty eighteen, start afresh with me." Open your mouth and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, this year 2018, I call upon you to start afresh with me. Start afresh with me. Start afresh with my family. Start afresh with my business. Start afresh with everything about me. Lord, I call upon you this year 2018. Start afresh with me. Start afresh with me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, oh Lord, my Father, I receive the master key to control the year 2018. Say after me, say, oh Lord, my Father, I receive the master key to control this year 2018 open your mouth and begin to receive it begin to receive it receive it lord i receive the master key 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 thank you father Riga bahata ya bahala basata. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. I like you to pray this one. Say every tragedy, every sorrow, program for me and my family this year. 
Be counseled by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. 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 Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Leave a heart by a bar of bar of bar. Let me try to be honest. Fashion against me. Program against me. This year. 2018. Let it be cancelled. 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 You are the living God. Yes, no one like you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Open your eyes, one second, people of God. There is no overdose of prayer. Oh, yes. There is no overdose of prayer. You see, what happened to us this week? Somebody said, Oh, Dika, Mineru, Na Mineru, Heru, Amalani. Amen. You know, you want to go out and you look at the clouds, there's no sign of rain. So, there's no need to carry umbrella. All of a sudden, while you're on the road, the rain started and you were beaten. That was what happened to us this week. Nobody knew that the cannon would be no more. Raise your right hand to God in heaven and say after me, every voice. I cannot hear you say every voice. Calling me from the graveyard. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody fire prayer. Somebody fire prayer. Somebody fire prayer. Somebody fire prayer. I will not die this year. 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 I will not be buried. I will not bury members of my family. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Can you say after me? Say every calamity. Program for me and my family. This year 2018. I cancel you from A to Z. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Fire prayer. Every calamity. Every calamity. Program for me and my family. This year. 2018, be cancelled, be cancelled, be cancelled, be cancelled, be cancelled, be cancelled. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lay your right hand upon your chest and pray this prayer after me. Lay your right hand upon your chest. Something is about to happen right now. I tell you, under this grace of God, under this unction, any miracle is possible. I don't know the problem you came with to church today. But I tell you, that problem is in problem today. That your trouble is in trouble today. Lay your right hand upon your chest and say after me. Say, every sickness in my body. No matter how serious you are. I command it to vanish this morning in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray, 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 pray. Leave, ba, 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 ba. Every sickness, hiding sickness, manifested sickness, serious sickness. I command you, vanish, 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 vanish in the name of Jesus. Vanish, 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 vanish. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Everyone here that came with one sickness or the other, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in Nazareth, of Nazareth, I command that sickness to vanish in the name of Jesus Christ. Every appointment you have with death, the Bible says your covenant with death will not stand. Your agreement with hell shall be this and now. This morning, every appointment, every agreement with sudden death is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. 
hear the word of God, people of God. This year, 2018, your long-awaited dreams shall manifest in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hear this word of God, people of God. This year, 2018, heaven shall locate you for good in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be your year of unstoppable promotions. It shall be your year of surprising favor. The glory that swallows shame. There is a glory when it comes, shame disappears. This year, 2018, let that glory find expression in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Prosperity beyond human expectation. Prosperity beyond human calculation. As you shout a big amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. People of God, amen, amen, is not an encouragement to the preacher. You are not encouraging me by saying amen. Amen is an agreement to divine verdicts. As you shout a big amen, I prophesy this morning that the celebration, the celebration, oh, that will bring about a transformation. Let it come upon you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. This year, 2018, the breakthrough of how did this happen? The breakthrough of how did it happen? Let it locate you this year, 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 in the name. Jesus Christ. Amen. Adonai, we worship you this morning. The unchangeable, changing God will bow before you. The Alpha and the Omega, Lord, will reverence you. The only monarch of the whole universe will say, Father, how excellent is your name. The God that dwelleth in a land that no man can approach. Father, we bow in awe to your name. The God that can chase a man and catch up with, that, with the man even before chasing. Father, we honor you. The only God that can crack a palm kernel with an egg. Father, we worship you. The God that can fetch water with baskets. In order to disgrace the buckets, Father, we honor you. Take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask that you speak to us this morning. We ask that you comfort your church this morning. We ask, oh God, that we lift, oh God, our burdens this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Put your hands together for Jesus. God bless you. You may be seated. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. We give all the glory to the King of Kings who has brought us to the year 2018. And I tell you, people of God, no matter what people have said about this year, this year shall be the best year for you and I in the name of Jesus Christ. And so one more time, we say Happy New Year to especially, as many of us, especially who have not come to church. On behalf of our Father in the Lord, we say Happy New Year to us one more time in Jesus' name. We also want to thank as many of us who appreciated us during the Christmas and New Year holiday. We appreciate you all. You got that message and uh, you worked on it. May the Almighty God prosper you more and more in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, I'm standing here with mixed feelings. Really mixed feelings. Because last Sunday, stood on the same marble, God's general, Nessin Joko, 
little did we know that that was going to be his last sermon. We pray that his gentle soul will continue to rest in perfect peace in Jesus' name. And we pray that God will comfort the church and his family in the mighty name of Jesus. Very, very quickly, I want to go to the business of the day. The theme of this year says, My help comes from the Lord. I didn't hear you. And this Sunday's theme says, The new man in Christ. Hallelujah. I will be combining the two messages. How? I will start with the diocesan team, the yearly team. And I will end it with the Sunday team. Help me tap somebody. Say, don't sleep now. Hallelujah. And so this morning, very quickly, I want to give it a one team. One title that says, help is coming. Help me tell somebody, say, help is coming. I didn't hear you say, help is coming. First Samuel chapter 11. First Samuel chapter 11, I read from verse 1 to 9. First Samuel chapter 11 from verse 1 to 9. Then Nahash the Amorite came up and encamped against Jebash Gilead. And all the men of Jebash said unto Nahash, Make a covenant with us, and we will serve thee. And Nahash the Amorite answered them, On this condition will I make a covenant with you, that I may trust out all your right eyes. And lay it for a reproach upon all Israel. And the elders of Jabesh said unto him, Give us seven days respite, that we may send messengers unto all the coast of Israel. And then, if there be no man to save us, we will come out to thee. Then came the messengers to Gibeah of Saul, and told the tidings in the ear of the people. And all the people lifted up their voices and wept. Verse 5. And behold, Saul came after the head out of the field. And Saul said, What elect the people that they weep? And they told him the tidings of the men of Jabesh. And the spirit of the Lord came upon Saul. And when he had those tidings, and his anger was kindled greatly, he took a yoke of oxen. And healed them in pieces and sent them throughout all the coast of Israel by the hands of messengers, saying, Whosoever cometh not forth after Saul and after Samuel, so shall it be done unto his oxen. And the fear of the Lord fell on the people, and they came out with a consent. And when he numbered them in Bezek, the children of Israel were three hundred thousand, and the men of Judah. 30,000. And they said unto the messengers that came, Thus shall ye say to the men of Jabesh Gilead, Tomorrow, by the time the sun is hot, ye shall have help. Can somebody say, I will have help. And the messengers came and she to the men of Jabesh and they were glad. I enter into prophetic office this morning and I prophesy to somebody today, this year, 2018, you shall have help in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help is coming your way in the name of Jesus Christ. I say help is coming your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Before sunset, your help will manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Nahash was a very wicked king in Amorites. Whenever he captures people, what he does, he enslaves them and pluck out their right eyes. He went to a place called Gilead. Or God first. He went to God. Took the men of God as slaves. Plucked out their right eyes. He went to Reuben. 
took the men of Reuben and slipped them, plucked out their right eyes. It was the turn of the, a small city called Jabesh Gilead. Hallelujah. And the men of Jabesh Gilead they ran, to Saul, ran to this king, Nahash. Please, don't pluck out our right eyes. We are ready to serve you. And the king said, it's okay, but uh, that is my usual style. Even if you are going to serve us, I will pluck out your right eyes. The Bible says that the men of Jabesh Gilead, they wept and wept. Say, give us seven days. Let us go and think about it. They went back and they consulted the king. Saul. Saul was just newly anointed. And when Saul heard this news, that this wicked king was going to Jabez Gilead again to captivate them and to pluck out their right eyes, everybody. You know, Boko Haram started a long time ago. Hallelujah. How many of you saw what happened at Benue? I think it was January 1st or so. Young children were butchered. In fact, a small boy of three, his two eyes were plucked out by the full and his men. That was a kind of evil spirit in this king. The Bible said, when Saul heard about it, Saul was filled with the Holy Spirit. And Saul began to prophesy. He said, go and tell the man of Jabesh Gilead by this time tomorrow before the sun will come out before the sun will set you shall receive help I come this morning under the same prophetic unction and I prophesy to the entire family of St. Paul's by this time tomorrow this year 2018 you shall receive help in the name of Jesus Christ your right eyes will never be plucked out in the name of Jesus Christ. Before people will begin to ask you, where is your God? Your God will manifest. I said before people will begin to ask you, are you I thought you go to church. fasting. Your God will answer them in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, by tomorrow, by the time the sun is hot, ye shall have help. Before that situation becomes too late. Before the sun will come out and it's really, really hot on you. Your help shall come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said, before shame, before shame will come, your help will come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you read down the story, you will see how Saul gathered men and invaded the Amorites, invaded the camp of Nahash, and slew them. That is what God will do for your enemy this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said that is what God will do for you this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will manifest like a mighty warrior. This year, 2018, God will manifest like the lion of the tribe of Judah for you. I said this year, 2018, God will manifest like the I am that I am in the mighty name of Jesus. And when he manifests, he's coming to divide your Red Sea. He's coming to divide your Red Sea. He's coming to bring you out of the lion's den in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He's coming to bring you out of the fire of afflictions. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, something about God. He will allow us at times to come to the place called helplessness. When you can still help yourself, God does not show up. Hallelujah. At times he will allow you to come to the point of hopelessness. God allows us to come to the end of ourselves. 
Because it is when you come to the end of yourself, God will come to the beginning of himself. God at times allows us to get to the wall where there is no way. You know, he will allow situation. He will allow problem to push you to the wall where there is no way. So that he can manifest as Yahweh. And then he will make a way where there is no way. Man's extremities is always God's opportunity. Man's extremities are always God's opportunity. Hallelujah. Many years ago, I've told us here that your problem is actually an angel with a different garment. Amen. Yes, your problem are always forerunners of miracles. When there is problem, it means that miracle is about to happen. You know, John the Baptist was a forerunner of Jesus. John the Baptist came to prepare the way of Jesus. Whenever you have problems, they are preparing the way for miracles. Hallelujah. Everything is turn by turn. When you look at the Bible very well, the Bible said that God created heaven and earth. And then he made the night. And then he made the morning. Hallelujah. God always, or oh, God first created darkness before light. Before miracle takes place, problem will come. If you are here today, you have problems in your life. I say a big congratulations to you because you're a candidate of miracle. This year, 2018, you will not miss a miracle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, some people will say, heaven helps those who help themselves. Well, I don't know where they got it from, but it's not from the Bible. Hallelujah. Because if you can help yourself, heaven cannot help you. Amen. If you can help yourself, then you don't need the help of heaven. I read this story on WhatsApp. It said two beggars were standing before the gate of a very rich king. And these two beggars, you know, they were begging actually. And one of them will say, Blessed is the man whom the king helps. Whenever the king is passing, one of them will be saying this word, Blessed is the man whom the king helps. And the other one will say, Blessed is the man whom God helps. But the king, like every one of us, we like praises. We always enjoy the praises of the one that is praising him. Blessed is the, is the man whom the king helps. Anytime he passes, he loves that one that was praising him. And one day he decided to truly help him. He baked a cake and hid a gold inside the cake. And asked one of his servants, you know, to go and give it to the one that always praises him. And so they took the cake to him. Amen. The one that is always praising the king. Blessed is the man whom the king helps. Immediately he got the cake. Instead of him to eat the cake now. He said, no, what I need is money. And this king doesn't understand. The game, the cake came. Oh boy, you won't buy cake. He turned to the other beggar. He said, beggar, do you want cake? That one said, please, I want cake. He give me. And he took the cake. He sold the cake to him, actually. Praise the Lord. And the other beggar went home to eat his cake. On opening the cake, he saw the gold. Sold the gold and became very rich. The next day, he didn't return to the begging spot. I have an unction this morning to prophesy to somebody the spots where you begged last year, they will not see you there this year in the name of Jesus. Hear this, people of God. The places where you drop your application, and we bang, get away. This year, they will tell you to come back with honor in the name of Jesus Christ. 
the next day, the beggar that is always praying, blessed is a man whom God helps, did not return to the sports. Why the one that is always saying, blessed is the man whom the king helps, returned. And the king was passing. The king saw him and said, ah, hello, didn't you get the gift I sent you yesterday? He said, I got it. Did you eat it? He said, no, I sold it to the other beggar. Ah! And the king said, truly, truly, blessed is the man whom God helps. I have a message for somebody here this morning. God is sending me to you this morning. That this year, 2018, God shall help you in the name of Jesus Christ. I say God shall help you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because blessed is that man whom God helps. Hallelujah. Follow me with your Bible to the book of Psalm 46, 1 to 5, quickly. My eye is on the time. Psalm 46, verse 1 to 5. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Verse 4. There is a river. Somebody said, There is a river. I didn't hear you say, There is a river. The streams, whereof shall make glad the city of God. Can somebody say, Amen? Amen. And the holy place of Tabernacles of the Most High. Verse 5 God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that right. Oh my father. When will God help you? Somebody say early. Somebody say early. Can we take verse 5 together? One to go. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that right early. Now put your name. Your family name. Where you see her. You put Emmanuel in here, Rome. Amen. Help me put my name. Hallelujah. I know you love me. Amen. Psalm 46, verse 5. One, two, go. God is in the midst of Emmanuel in here, Rome's family. They shall not be moved. God shall help them. And that's right. This year, 2018, God will help you early in the name of Jesus Christ. Before the sun is hot, before shame will arise, before your mockers will arise, God will help you early in the name of Jesus Christ. I say God will help you early in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say God will help you early in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help is on the way. I don't know your case, but I know God will help you. I don't know the trouble, but I know God will help you. I say God will help you. In your business, this year 2018, hear the word of God. God will help you in that business. Oh, my father. I, I, I have come to open the prophetic tap of help for you from east, from west, from north, from south. I prophesy. Let the angel of help locate you this year in the name of Jesus Christ. They will help you in your job this year. They will help you in your marriage this year. When you are pregnant, they will help you. I say when you are in the labor room, they will help you. God will help Nigeria this year. I say God will help Nigeria this year. I say God will help Lagos this year. God will help your state this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12. 
Revelation chapter 12, verse 15 and 16. Somebody shout help. I didn't hear you. Can you shout it like somebody that needs help? If all of a sudden you open your eyes in your room and you could, what you could see is smokes, what you could see is fire burning from other houses, you don't know what to do. What are you going to shout? What are you going to shout? All of a sudden, you are on, you are on your steering, and before you know it, the vehicle begins to tumble. And what are you going to shout? Help shall come for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 12. I read verse 15 to 16. Revelation chapter 12, 15 to 16. And it says, And the serpent cast out his mouth water, his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of this flood. Verse 16. And the earth helped the woman. Can somebody say, and the earth helped the woman? And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. Hallelujah. The Bible said there was a woman let me just take it literally. It has some other meaning. But let me just say it as it relates to this message. This woman was helpless. And then a serpent, a dragon, appeared. And then spat on the ground. And the spirit, the spirit turned into a flood to carry away this woman. The Bible said, the earth said, no. I will help this woman. The Bible said, and the earth opened her mouth. And swallowed the flood that was about to swallow this woman. I prophesy to somebody here this year 2018, the earth shall help you. If you can shout a living amen, you are the one I'm talking to. This year 2018, the earth shall help you. I said this year 2018, the help shall the earth shall help your business. The earth shall help your family. The earth shall help your business. The earth shall help your career. Help is coming. Help is coming. No matter the flood they direct to you, it will not swallow you. I said, no weapon of the enemy fashioned against you, it will not swallow you. I said, it will not swallow you. I said it will not swallow you. It will not swallow your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help is coming. Help is coming. Help is coming. Let me tell you people of God. Every man needs help. From the womb to the tomb you need help. Every man needs help. For instance, when you were in the womb, you didn't come out by yourself. Some doctors and nurses were around to help your mother to bet you. Hallelujah. And when we die, we still need help. You cannot put yourself inside coffin now. Even if you put yourself inside coffin, can you close that coffin? Even if you close the coffin, can you carry yourself to the burial ground? Everybody needs help. And the Bible says it is not good that a man should be alone. He said, I will make him a help meet for him. It is not good that a man should be alone. I will make for him a help meet for him. This year, 2018, the angel of helps, they will surround you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heaven will rightly position you for helps. You know, a time will come, you are helpless. A time will come, you are helpless. But I bear a sitting on the man in the monster. When you could be a good suffer, you cannot have Jesus. But people of God, 
I want you to know that help comes from the Lord. Do you know the Lord? Do you know the Lord? Who is the Lord? I tell you, if the Lord does not own your life, he does not owe you anything. If the Lord does not own you, he does not owe you a miracle. The first step for you to be a candidate of help is for you to know the way of Christ. Hallelujah. John chapter 14 verse 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. John 14 verse 6 Jesus said unto him I am the way the truth and the life. No man cometh to the father but by me. The only way you can have help this year is for you to surrender your life to the giver of that help. The year is still very new people of God. Very very new. You can start afresh. You can make a fresh commitment. You can surrender now before it is too late. Hallelujah. You can enlist yourself into the candidate of help. Those that God will help. I was studying prophecies for this year 2018 of great men of God, of high repute, men that we can trust. I was studying what they said God said. And at a point they were saying some things that are similar. And one of, the, one of the similar things they said is that the economy of Nigeria will rise up and become better this year. Hallelujah. And there is this prophet I love so much, followed him over the years, an Indian. He's one of those prophets that got it right that Donald Trump was going to win the election. You know, the, the U.S. election made so many prophets liars. A prophet in U.S. said, if Clinton did not win the election, please shoot me. I'm sure, shoot me. And when Clinton lost the election, he ran to a village and was pleading to the whole world, please forgive me. I miss it. I miss it. I miss it. I will not prophesy for the next four years. Please forgive me. But this Indian prophet got it right. So I was studying his, prof his, his prophetic, his message. And he said something about Nigeria. He said, and I saw angels with golden pen signing golden languages on the skies of Nigeria. He said, this year, things will be better in Nigeria. Yeah. Uh, I, I come this morning under a heavy prophetic unction and I prophesy among those that will be celebrated this year 2018 your name shall be dear in the name of Jesus yeah. if you can shout amen it is your own in the name of Jesus But you must start somewhere. Jesus is the way. Surrender now. Be enlisted among the candidates of miracle. The book is still open. The book is still open. Don't allow it to be short. Some of us. January 1, January 2, January 3. You, you made a lot of promises to God. This year I got my quick. This year I got my This year I got my But uh, uh, but it's just 14 days now. Are you sure? Uh, help me to ask somebody. Say, are you sure? Ask somebody. Say, are you still sure? Uh -huh. Are you still sure? Uh -huh. It is still fresh. And I pray, as you come to the master, help will locate you in the mighty name of Jesus. Rise everybody with Psalm 91 in your hand. Rise everybody with Psalm 91. We shall take it to 1 to 7. 
because this year help shall locate us no evil shall befall you nobody will die here I didn't hear an amen. amen Psalm 91 1, 2, 3 go he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my God in whom will I trust surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler he shall cover me with his feathers and under his wings shall I trust his truth shall be my shield and buckler I will not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day continue nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday a thousand shall fall at my side and ten thousand at my right side but he shall not come near me somebody say amen somebody say amen somebody said that is my portion somebody said that is my portion lift your hands and say father i thank you because help is coming open your mouth and begin to thank him say lord help is coming help is coming thank you lord thank you lord this year 2018 and list me and list me and list me among those that will be helped among those that will be helped among those that will be helped and list me no evil shall befall me this year whether physically or spiritually whether on the highway anywhere I am I am protected he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty in Jesus mighty name we pray and so father we thank you because you have assured us from your word yes. that this year 2018 help is coming for us in the name of Jesus Christ wherever we need help father you are the help of the helpless show up there in the name of Jesus Christ before it is too late before it is too hot before it is no more appear in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. as many this morning that are surrendering their lives unto you father accept their souls and enlist them in the name of Jesus Christ thank you father in Jesus mighty name we pray The choir.